Hi, Kevin Fullington here. Welcome back to this week's strategy session. We're going to start by meeting today Greg Garvey. Say hello, Greg. Hey, everybody. Greg is our office manager slash, what's your title, assistant candidate? Yes. Yeah, oh, is it assistant, assistant to the candidate? Assistant. Okay, assistant to the candidate. Good to meet you, Greg. See you, buddy. All right, let's head back to the whiteboard, see what it wants to tell us today. we got a long walk. That's the front of the office, so we're making our way all the way back. I hope you're all having a nice day and a nice week. All right, so here we go. So today, the whiteboard is talking to us about Andrew Cuomo and his love affair with the special interest community, um, a love affair which they seek to consummate on November 2nd. And so what there's, they're going to exchange rings. So what is Andrew Cuomo getting? What is the ring being put on Andrew Cuomo's finger? Now, what that is, it's $7.1 million. He's received $555,000 from lobbyists. He's received $1.4 million from unions. He's received $1.3 million from the construction industry. He's received $575,000 from the healthcare industry. And he's received over $300,000 from the Hollywood film industry business. That, when you add up with some other special interests, comes to over $7.1 million he's received. And so the question then is, well, what is Andrew Cuomo giving them? What is the special interest community getting? And so I'll just give you four examples of the ring that he would like to slide on their finger. First is no defined contribution plan. So one of the biggest problems New York State faces is our pension system. It is exploding in cost. The cost will triple over the next three years on the state level and on the local level it's even worse. So there's a number of reforms that need to be made to the pension system. One of them is something that Andrew Cuomo talks a little bit about which is getting rid of things like pension padding and double dipping which Andrew Cuomo's own lieutenant governor does. But some more even fundamental reforms need to be made to the system. And one of the most important ones is to move to a defined contribution system. Right now New York State has a defined benefit program which means um, state workers contribute for a certain portion of their employment, um, usually just 10 years and then never again at 3% per year. And then for their life, they're guaranteed a defined benefit, but they don't have a defined contribution. So Rick Lazio's point is let's move to a, def a defined contribution program rather than a defined benefit program. It's a fundamental reform that Rick is calling for that Andrew Cuomo was even asked about this week and waffled and would not support. So that's one of the things that Andrew Cuomo is doing for the special interests. Another thing that he is doing are the Hollywood tax credit issue versus the Empire Zone um, tax credit issue. So the Empire Zone program is a program that predominantly benefits upstate New York and upstate businesses. Now it's a flawed system and needs some fixing, it needs some tweaking, it needs some change, but it doesn't need to be scrapped completely. And what the state legislature did with Andrew Cuomo's assent this year is reduce the Empire Zone program from a $500 million program to a $50 million program. All the while, the Hollywood film industry is seeing its tax credit program hike to over $400 million, closer to $500 million. And Rick Lazio is not necessarily opposed to a Hollywood tax credit program, but you just have to look at it in context of the upstate economic development program being dramatically reduced. And there's a glaring disparity there. And it makes little sense, except if you see it in the light of special interest. Another example is um, Medicaid reform. Um, in Andrew Cuomo's policy book, he talks about it, it eloquently the problem with Medicaid and how it's now almost a $52 billion program. That's a billion dollars a week. And he, how, how do we fix it, though, is the is a important question. And Andrew talks about some issues that need to be worked on, like focusing, focusing on primary care and making sure people get better preventive care, but he doesn't get again to the heart of the issue because he can't, because he takes money from the healthcare industry. And so what does Rick Lazio say? Rick Lazio says in his book, um, those who receive Medicaid benefits shouldn't have richer benefits than those who pay for Medicaid. And he talks about implementing effective means testing. So what Rick is saying is that 
we've got to reduce the size of the Medicaid program. There are too many people receiving too rich a benefit on the program, and we need to fundamentally reduce that. And Andrew Cuomo just skates around that issue and doesn't get to the heart of it. Again, because he's getting special interest money. Uh, one more example is workforce reductions. So kind of the big uh, picture in, in a lot of this is, is unions and people who have employees that, are, that, that work for the state. And one of the fundamental ways to fix a hard budget is to reduce the size of the state workforce. It's bloated. We cannot afford the 200,000 plus employees that we have in the state right now. We need to dramatically reduce the workforce. Rick Lazio says that here. He says, freeze state salaries and shrink the state workforce. What does Andrew Cuomo say? Not much on it. He skates around. And he says, yeah, we should probably freeze salaries, but he is silent on workforce reductions. And why is he silent? because of the special interests. So the question New Yorkers are going to have to ask themselves, and I've never actually been at a wedding where this happened, although I, I would always want it to be, when the priest or the minister turns to the crowd and says, um, are there any here who uh, have reason to object to this wedding? Speak now or forever, hold your peace. New Yorkers, no November 2nd, are not going to hold their peace. They're going to object to this unholy alliance, and they're going to turn Andrew away and re-elect Rick Lazio governor because he represent, represents fundamental sweeping reform of the system. He doesn't represent the special interests. He represents the people of the state of New York, and he will be our next governor. Thanks. See you here next week.